morning guys we are up more awake than yesterday and off to breakfast and then going on a tour of the bowling factory don't know how cold it's gonna be but I'm not wearing my thermals today so so yeah that's good no thermals but now we're just waiting for elevator. Sorry that I didn't really video yesterday. Like I said, the first plane trip, I just slept the entire time. And then we got to Detroit and I was still just not feeling well. My neck started hurting. I filmed a little bit. Um, then we got here and my neck was in pain. I had a headache. I was tired. I was over it. So, not filming yesterday. Isn't that right, Mickey? She looks really impressed. It's always like you, it opens up and you're like, oh, is there someone, someone gonna be here? I do like this top. It's a shame I could never wear it back at home. Cause this is too damn, my hair's like whack. Look at it. Like a puff ball. All right, into breakfast. Let's go. Some breakfast. And we got some cereal to try cause we've never tried this before, so. Gonna try that. Yum. So we are at the future of flight, I believe. In an hour we're going on the Boeing tour, so I think we go up there somewhere. I'm not too sure, but I'm allowed to take my camera on that. Um, ever since apparently some guy accidentally dropped his camera on top of a airplane wing and it cost Boeing $370,000 to fix so I won't be able to film, sorry guys but I can film up here and the view is really nice like look look at the snowy mountains up there so pretty it's not very cold here though so that's good but yeah let's go look around we're now in the gallery, looking around, and um, yeah, there's some cool things down here. So these are what the wheels look like. God, they're just as hard as rock. That's crazy. The wonder of aircraft tires. This is the back of the 747 what the hell i need to get my dad to take a picture <laughs> this is unreal wow it's so big it's crazy i really want to have a go with this compare these materials by weight strength and stiffness lift up and feel their weight press down to test their strength Okay. And measure measure, measure their flexibility with the gorge. Okay. Jesus. What's the gorge too pushing in? Oh my god, titanium's really heavy. Well, this one you can't bend down. Aluminium's light. Carbon fiber's the lightest. Oh my god, steel. Yes, yeah, steel you can't. <laughs> oh and wood. Oh man, screw flying in a wooden plane. Oh man, if only. You know, wish I could have a plane like this. Someone just give me a whole heap of money. Maybe I like flying then. If I get like a couch and a full TV. Welcome to passenger experience. Where we use the feedback from flyers like you to help shape future air travel experience. You know what? Let's... These seats look like the uncomfortable seats on a plane. I want those seats. What? Start spreading the news. I'm a bit over sitting in airplane seats, to be honest. Look at the seats on these planes. I'm just in outrage. Bring back those seats. Bring back old seats. Bring back. 
They look way comfier. Man, how do they understand all this? Crap. But I guess you do it every day. And even these seats look uncomfortable. Poor pilot. And that's it. Now we're just going to wait for our tour. Which I can't take you guys on. I put all my stuff in a locker. Hey guys. Now jokes. Hey, so we just finished the Boeing tour, which is really neat. Got to see a lot of planes being built. No Qantas ones, unfortunately. They mustn't be filled in any right now, or they haven't got to theirs yet. FYI, Qantas is um, Australia's main airline. That's the airline that most people would associate Qantas with. It's Australian owned, unlike Virgin, which is owned by the British dude, Richard Branson. They're our two big airlines. Qantas or Virgin? Or Jetstar, which is which Qantas. Is branch of Qantas. So, so we didn't see any of those, but it was quite cool to go in there and see how they all get made and the planes are just massive. As you know, go to an airport, they're big. So it was really neat to see. And uh, now we're just waiting for our tour bus to leave and we'll go back and explore the city and walk around and get lunch, I'm sure. Yeah, should be fun. Still like, hi. So, we are now at Pike Street Market, hoping to get some food and looking around. It's really neat here. I'm not even sure what level we're on or anything. But it's cool, so I'll show you all the map. Look at America and then look at Australia. <laughs> Someone's only kind of done Townsville though. Oh well. <sighs> it's really hard. <laughs> Poor New Zealand, where are they? They're cut off. off <laughs> New Zealand. So I couldn't really feel much outside because it's raining. My up. camera's not waterproof yet, so they're going up. Oh. And I got a little bit of Pike Markets. And we just pretty much just looked through shops, had lunch as you saw, so not much really. But we're now back at the hotel, it's like nearly five, and we're thinking of going for a swim. Oh my god, it's pool. And then, because we're staying in club, which is like this thing, um, they have hors d'oeuvres between six and eight. But last night, mom's, my mum said they had really good food, so thinking we might eat there for dinner pretty much. Alright, so as I stopped filming, we were. Somebody else came in the elevator and was like, oh, oh trying to take a picture. Yeah, she was taking a picture. I was like, oh, do you want me to take a picture of you guys? So we went to club level, I got a Coke. <laughs> Cause like it's free, I'm not gonna imagine. Get. Um, go to our home, home, hotel room. Number. And put our swimmers on. In American speak, I think you call them bathers. They call them swimmers, togs. Yeah. Cozies. Yeah, cozies, swimmers, togs, bathers, all mean the same thing to us. If there's any other way, you say it. Let me know. Bikini. I'm not wearing a bikini, but. All the same, she is it's really dark. You all can't see me. Oh, there I am. All right, so we're gonna go for a swim. Right, I'm not taking my camera because, like, 
This little waterproof. Because I can't be asked to take my GoPro just to go on a little pool. So, I'll update you all when we probably go eat some more food, because that's all I do is walk around, eat food, walk some more, eat some more food. It's my life. So, we went well, to the cheesecake factory and got food. Pizza. We got some fries. <laughs> Oh, they're like big fries. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Yes. And then we got an ice cream sub sundae in like this little tub with the hot sauce <laughs> in little tubs and the whipped cream. Like, is this real life? See, clearly people must order this shit. Like, look, where are our spoons? They're in the other bag. So we're going to eat this now. Yeah. The pizza. Oh. How good does that look? Food. So, sorry guys, we already did the first hot fudge. We thought we'd show you us making our Sunday. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that goodness. Check that one in there. Okay. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Yeah. It's like dark chocolate. Ew. <laughs> Does it taste good? It's not Disney, but it's not Disney. Let me taste it. Oh, whipped cream. Yeah, that hot fudge isn't as good as Disney. Mm. It'll do. It's definitely dark chocolate. Tastes yuck. Mm. Maybe we should have asked for milk. But maybe they don't do milk. Mm. Okay. What stupid people don't do milk chocolate? Look at this cream. <laughs> It looks like ice cream on its own. Okay. Okay, now put the almonds on top. <laughs> the sliced, slithered almonds, whatever they are. This better taste good. Voila. Ta da! Sunday! Sunday! Pizza! Fries! Fries! We're just gonna run back. Okay, we're gonna eat now. Catch ya.